Hello everyone, this is Toby with Birdsong Studios. Thank you so much for joining me here on the channel today. I greatly appreciate your energy, your attention, your openness to the messages, and your ongoing support. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad to have you here. Today we will be looking at messages for the new moon in Aquarius for the signs, uh, for the earth signs, um, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, if you have any of those in your sun, moon, or rising signs, this message is for you. So, as we begin here, um, this new moon in Aquarius really feels like quite, um, the new energetic beginning to this to 2023 although we're well into the new year by the Gregorian calendar we've just completed some retrogrades and we'll wrap up another one right after the new moon so Mars went direct on January the 12th Mercury went direct on January the 18th and Uranus will be going direct on Jan January the 22nd. The new moon is on the 21st or the 22nd, depending upon where you are in the world. And so with all of this um, forward movement coming online around the new moon, it feels like we are gaining a real um, sense of momentum astrologically and cosmically. So those projects, ideas, things, uh, considerations that you have been reworking, reviewing, reimagining, revisiting, maybe reevaluating, um, can really start to get some movement forward here Af on or around, around or after this new moon. So let's see what the new moon would like to offer for the earth signs today. So if you have Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus in, we've got two coming out again, just like we did with the fire signs. Um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo in your sun, moon, or rising, these messages will be for you. And we're starting out with the Starseed Oracle here from Rebecca Campbell. Our first card out is Star Bathing, Light Body, Crystal Grid, Transmission and Activation. And then we have Baby Steps, Action, just as we spoke of, following your intuition before it makes sense. feel like this is really a time, just as these cards are are telling us, this is really a time for you Earth signs of when you're going to feel the, the downloads that you've received, the activations that have been going on within um, the light body, but within your physical body as well over the, the past few months, especially during these retrogrades, when you're really going to feel that it's time to get up and begin moving. Um, in the first card, the star bathing, see how the figure is lying down in a state of rest. And this really harkens back to the retrograde period. And then in the baby steps, the figure is up and looking outward, looking into and through this portal, which is symbolic of this new moon in Aquarius. Um, and it's asking you to allow your imagination to be free, to follow your intuition without overanalyzing it. And as um, sometimes as well, the air signs certainly can be um, very analytical, as can 
the earth signs, um, in particular Capricorn and Virgo, I'm getting a sense of, and Taurus a little bit, but I'm getting a sense of really wanting to see the long game in the intuition, their intuitive messages that you're receiving, but that is not, that's not the point of this. The point of this is to take each step as you're intuitively guided and then the next step will be revealed and all of these activations all of this um, cosmic awareness and wisdom that's been implanted in your cells in your light body in your energy is what's going to be guiding you these aren't random thoughts these are spirit and your cosmic guides and your inner knowing and your higher self leading you on these pathways. And I'm feeling a sense of if you're, if the uneasiness and the uncertainty um, becomes a bit overwhelming or feels like it's leading to resistance, working with um, crystals can be very soothing. Um, uh, fire quartz, as I have here, I hope you guys can see it very well. It's a very soothing stone. It helps to relieve anxiety. Um, rose quartz as well. Where's my big piece of rose quartz? Here you are. With these light pink colors on the cards, the rose quartz, the fire quartz, um, amethyst, all three of those could be very healing and um, centering and bringing you really back to your, to your heart bringing you back to a sense of calmness and trust in yourself and everything that you've learned through this process um, through the retrograde period in particular. I'll leave this one right here. Well, yeah, I'll leave this one right here so you can still see it. Okay, so let's see. We're going to move to the wisdom of the oracle now and let's see... Um, I happen to notice 741 on the, the clock as I move to the Wisdom of the Oracle. I don't know if that number has significance for you. You may also want to look it up to see if there's any meaning that resonates with you in regards to the wisdom that you've gained over this time period. Also, I wanted to mention as I'm shuffling, I do offer personal readings and the information for contacting me to book or schedule or for additional details is listed in the description box. Okay, so let's see what the wisdom of the oracle has to add to this for earth signs, new moon, and Aquarius messages, please, spirit. feeling some tension in my ankles and I'm and it's bringing me back to these baby steps um, you may feel wobbly as you take these steps but and you may feel it's it's um, referring back to the the need for flexibility the need to be um, willing to again take these steps without being able to see the full path and where it's leading you. Um, the, need, the need to be flexible in your mindset so that you're open to the potential impossibilities that lay on the other side or through this portal. And then we have time for a nap. This is referring back to the resting. Okay, let's get one more. Because we have action and then we have resting. Mm. 
and I'm feeling this sense of balancing out so that we can so that we're not overextending ourselves and because we have so much yellow and gold on this card um, um, so that we're not overextending ourselves and draining ourselves and then um, it's impacting our solar plexus energy, our confidence, self-confidence, um, self-assuredness, um, embarking on these steps from a place of empowerment rather than um, apprehension. Knowing that you are co-creating with spirit and your higher self and that you are birthing something new that is there's something historical about this it's been written in your soul contract um, okay so we have 24 and then we have 40 so there, 24, of course, reduces down to 6, and that speaks of balance. So ensuring that as you're taking these steps, you're also allowing yourself a point to rest. Um, there's a small fox here resting, nestled in the curve of the moon. So it's the wisdom, and it's strategic as well. So you're resting so if you're feeling as if you need to keep going and keep going because you're going to miss something you don't you'll know when to rest your body will tell you when to rest as you're co-creating on this pathway see we have the cheetah here and then we have the owl who's perched on this wire so knowing when to leap forward and knowing when to take a pause It's critical in this process so that you can again move forward from an empowered state um, not feeling like you're being pushed but understanding that you take um, you have the most important role in this process that spirits guiding you but it's your free will as to what your actions or non-actions are. And so if you're starting to feel burdened or overwhelmed, that's coming from a state of overexertion and spirit is asking you to then take a rest, take a moment. I'm getting the sense of recalibrating yourself during uh, nap time or rest time or whatever is soothing for you and comforting for you and creates a sense of safety so that you can then when you step back out of that mode and into action you're doing it from um, a fully integrated and balanced and I know I keep saying empowered, but empowered energy. The energy that says that I know that I am co-creating this path, that I am birthing this new, that it's written in my soul contract, that it's part of my soul story. I'm not being coerced into this. I'm not being pushed into this. This is something that I willingly embark on and in that I take pride in the efforts that I'm putting forth. I take pride in those moments when I know that I listen to my body and I take a rest. I take pride in when I have the confidence and the trust and spirit in myself to step forward even when there's great uncertainty, even if I'm taking a baby step, it's still a movement forward. Okay, now we're going.
going to see what the tarot has to add to this. And this is the star tarot. And I apologize, I cannot remember the creator of this particular deck. And I did shuffle a couple of times ahead of time because it's just a little bit long for my fingers and so the shuffles aren't always pretty as you can see. <laughs> suffer through one more shuffle. A little cumbersome. Okay. Actually, I'm going to do one more because that one didn't turn out so well. I apologize for the long pause. this message. New moon and Aquarius messages for earth signs, please, spirit. New moon and Aquarius messages for earth signs. card. Let's see what else we have. Moon and Aquarius messages for Earth signs, please, Spirit. We have the Nine of Cups. balance of as above, so below, and um, keeping action and rest balanced, and the hanged one, and that is um, also speaking of the need to rest. Okay, so we have also flipping your perspective and I'm finding it interesting that we have the devil on one end that can is symbolic yes it is linked to the sign of Capricorn but it is also symbolic of the chains that bind us the patterns that keep us tied to things that restrict our growth our movement that um, maybe a temporary hit of pleasure, but then keep us tied to old patterns or um, inhibiting patterns, behaviors, actions, addictions, obsessions. And I find it interesting when we have that on one end and then we have the hanged one on the other end which is also it can be a moment of rest but it's a moment of rest in order to change your perspective on something to totally flip on its head so to speak your mindset and your thought patterns and your thought forms and your view of something that's been happening and so I do feel like 
because the Nine of Cups is um, wishes granted. Feeling fulfilled in an emotional space brings a sense of peace and joy and we have a sense of harmony here and a rebirth as well with the lotus flowers that are echoed here on the hanged one. Turn these around so you can see them. See the lotus flower up here and then the lotus flowers down here on the Nine of Cups. And then, interestingly, the Two of Pentacles, Pentacles can also be um, balancing things and almost and juggling things. So being overburdened or sorry guys. Okay. Sorry, my cat's trying to get out of my room. Um overburdened by uh, responsibilities or something in the material world. It's um, seeking balance and oftentimes not being able to find balance or working towards finding balance. So see how we have the two circles here with the pentacles. Let's see how we have the two circles here with the people that are chained in the devil's grip or by the devil's chains. Um, I find it very fascinating that they did, they came out one. Um, so I'm getting this sense of really working to find that the balance between rest and action is um, a big part of what you have been exploring over these retrograde periods and something that you're going to get clarity on. Now you have a little bit more clarity, but further clarity as well with the new moon in Aquarius and that you, um, by being caught in this cycle, this, um, addictive tendency of being busy all the time and not allowing yourself to rest and receive the messages, um, receive the guidance that is being brought forth to you, that um, it's kept you from your Nine of Cups. Because you really needed to take this pause to be able to look at things thoroughly and to really flip them around so that you could blossom from that insight. But this constant juggling um, and not being able to bring those things into balance keeps you tied to these behavior patterns that are very restrictive and keep you from being able to grow. And they keep you, they restrain you from really feeling this Nine of Cups. That it's through the rest and the reflection and the rejuvenation. And I'm getting the breathing change. Did you notice my breathing change? So um, being able to literally just take a breath. Giving yourself the space to do that. That allows this, this inner... sanctuary of bliss and joy and peace and harmony to be felt and to allow it to wash over your body to fill your light body we have a lot of cards of rest here we have this one from the star bathing. Even if we're looking at this from a little literal perspective, literally going out and laying underneath the stars and feeling 
in your skin, in your cells, in your senses, how it feels to receive from the stars. Allowing that space to clear your mind, to see things from this different perspective, to help you understand where you can find greater balance and to allow yourself to change the patterns Let's look to the Life Soul Vision Oracle to wrap things together. dropping cards. I think I need more coffee. All right. Let's see what the life has to, Oracle has to add to this. Labyrinth of Sweet Surrender. We're going to do one more. That's 27, which is 9 again. We have two 6s, a 4, two 9s, a 2, a 12, and then a 3. Messages for Earth signs for you, my Aquarius, please. Spirit. Okay. conversations. That's the one I dropped. <laughs> That's, it was a, things are never random. Yes, so this energetic conversation and really looking to spirit to help you guide, to help guide you as well. Um, being willing to open yourself to those dialogues on an energetic level through meditation, when you're out gazing underneath the stars, when you're, when you're so, when you allow yourself to rest, you may get these um, messages through your dream state. But allowing spirit to guide you through this process, and it requires this sweet surrender. Um, again, we have a figure who is in repose. She's, she's floating on the water, but she's surrendered. So allowing yourself to be open and surrender to this process. She's not falling though. She is protected and I think that's very important to point out that um, you are all protected in this process. You are co-creating with spirit. And there's the energy conversations. I think there's an eclipse in April. So I'm getting a sense that that could be a very important time for you as well. You have the fish in the background and that's indicating to me um, messages possibly from your subconscious or messengers from your subconscious. These fish are bringing forth information that um, has not been able to reach you if you've been in a constant state of motion. And again, that's the, the need for the surrender. If we're not in a place of stillness, we're not able to hear the messages that are, are being sent to us. And they may just float on by because we're moving constantly, keeping our 
ourselves so tied up in that pattern that we're not able to reflect and allow in uh, the wisdom and the messages. And in this figure, see how her top three chakras are all surrounded by this light. We have the throat chakra, we have the third eye, we have the crown chakra, and then even above. Um, and these are the, the connection points to spirit and our higher self. Being open to these messages. Oh, and look, it's we have this around both figures. And see how this is um, light and it's highlighting and it's um, it doesn't feel restrictive and it doesn't feel confining it feels um, energizing and I'm getting like a A circle of light to allow you to see what has been hidden and these are filled with darkness and they're encapsulating but see the moon is up here hidden in the background and the moon represents things that were that we may not be seeing so we really need to take this time to rest to be able to change our perspective and to be able to balance out action with rest and rejuvenation so that we're able to actually feel into this Nine of Cups energy, this harmony and happiness and bliss. Okay, Earth Signs, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for your attention, your energy, your connection, and your support. Please, um, if you wouldn't mind doing so, I would greatly appreciate your any comments you have on whether this resonated or not. Um, your likes, shares, and subscribes do greatly help the channel. So, I hope you have a wonderful day ahead. Enjoy the new moon. Be sure to give yourselves time to rest. And... I will see you again soon.